Hey guys, Alfonso here from Atlantic Marine with your marine weather forecast. But this week, this week it's gonna be handled by Matt. Reason why, I'm gonna be in the water all week long on brand new Seabornes on the LX24 and the LX22s giving customers sea trials. So I'm not gonna be here. But my man Matt is gonna handle this week. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm out of here. All right, Alfonso, have a great time on that Seabourn. That's a nice boat, man. Just like Alfonso said, I'll be taking over the marine weather forecast for this weekend. That's April 9th to the 11th. We'll go ahead and start with Deerfield to Ocean Reef. So Friday morning is looking east-southeast winds with around 10 knots. Seas around 2 feet. Intercoastal waters with a light chop. Friday night, southeast winds 10 to 15 knots with gusts to around 20 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet, intercoastal waters with a moderate chop. So it's going to be a little nicer in the morning if you want to go out there. I mean, if you're one of those night boaters, you can expect to be a little choppy, but it is going to be windy for Friday. Saturday, southeast winds with around 15 knots with gusts to around 20 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet, intercoastal waters with a moderate chop. So same thing with Saturday, it's going to be moderately choppy out there. Early in the morning you want to get there, it might be a little easy for you, but you can expect a lot of wind. Sunday fun day. South winds 10 to 15 knots with gusts around 20 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet, intercoastal waters a light chop. Slight chance of showers in the morning, then chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. So if you ask me, Sunday fun day, go out early in the morning, have a great time, come back in by the afternoon. If you guys do see some storms out there or some dark clouds, feel free to take a picture and tag us so we can let all our followers know. All right, guys, this week we're also going to include the weather for Naples to Marco Island. Shout out to all my West Coast followers. Don't forget to subscribe, tag, comment, like. Friday, south-southeast winds, 10 to 15 knots. Seas around 2 feet. Bay and inland waters, a light chop. Friday night, southeast winds to 10 to 15 knots. Near shore, southeast 10 to 15 knots with gusts to around 20 knots offshore. Seas to 2-3 feet, bay and inland waters, a light chop. So if you're going to be, you know, at night offshore fishing, which you're definitely a better fisherman than I am, be careful that it's going to be a little windy out there. Saturday, south-southeast winds 10 to 15 knots with gusts to around 20 knots. Seas to 2-3 to three feet, bay and inland waters also with a slight chop. Saturday night, south-southeast winds to 10 to 15 knots near shore and south-southeast around 15 knots offshore. Seas around 2 feet, bay and inland waters with a light chop, slight chance of thunderstorms in the evening, chance of showers throughout the night. So I'd rather go out boating Friday night instead of Saturday night, but hey, if you want to push the envelope, feel free to go out Saturday night. Sunday fun day. South winds 5 to 15 knots with gusts around 20 knots. Seas around 2 feet. Bay and inland waters, slight chop. Chance of showers and a light, slight chance of thunderstorms. So as well, be careful. For Sunday morning, that's your best shot if you want that Sunday fun day. But if you have to push for late in the afternoon, you can expect it to rain. All right, guys, that's our weather for the weekend. Uh, if you're going to go out boating this weekend, don't forget your boating equipment, your life vests, everything you need. And if you're going to go out to the boat ramps, you want to get out there earlier because, again, we're going into the summertime and everybody's trying to get out there. Whether it's going to be fishing, whether it's going to be at the sandbar, the early bird gets the fish. So if you don't want to get stuck waiting, which, trust me, it will happen, get out there earlier. And if you want to actually save yourself some time, see if you can call ahead and see how the weight is and if they're actually open or they're full capacity. Real quick, joke of the week. It's going to be, uh, where do mermaids keep their money? At the riverbank. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's one of my favorite ones. All right, guys, product of the week, very important. It's the steering. It's just as important as the motor and the fuel. If you have bad steering, come on down to Atlantic Marine. We'll go ahead, de-rig your old steering and install that brand new Seastar steering. Whether it's just the helm, the hoses, the cylinder, or the whole setup, we'll go ahead and take care of you and get you back on the water the affordable way. So give us a call at 305-826-2202 
or come on down and we'll be happy to help you over the counter. My name is Matthew and this is Atlantic Marine with the Marine Weather Forecast. Have a great one.